So first thing that you're going to want to do, obviously, it, this is through Google Analytics, so you're going to want to have a Google account. And I've set up a Google account uh, for us, just kind of my demo account. It's how to blog webinar. Um, and then what you want to do is go to Google Analytics. And you will see a page right here. It says sign up for Google Analytics. And so you want to click sign up. And it's a very easy process. So what you want to do is put in the website's URL. And the website that we are using is our little test website here for the webinars, which is howtobloglab.com. So we are going to put that in right there. Obviously, we don't need the HTTP part. And then the account name, you can either just, it'll automatically fill in the URL. Uh, I like to just actually put the website name because it's a little bit easier. Then you want to put your time zone. I'm in the central time zone, so that's what I will put. And we'll hit continue. And then you want to put, uh, obviously, your name. Very easy. Okay, agree to the terms of service. Yes, Google, we will agree to your terms, I suppose. Create the account, and I will show you what to do next. Okay, so now you're going to get this code, okay? And what you can do is if you want to actually go into the code of your WordPress blog, you can copy and paste this code in. And where you would do that, if we're in the dashboard, um, the place that we would do that, if you go to Appearance and you go to the Theme Editor, Typically, you can really put this anywhere. Um, typically, I like to put it in the footer, which means that that script will fire off last. So we will open up the footer. And what you can do is you can take this entire script right here, copy, and paste it anywhere here in the footer. I usually just put it right before the body tag if you want to do it that way. Okay, that's one way to do it. Now... If you do it that way and you change themes, then you're going to have to remember to copy-paste this onto your new theme or it won't be tracking your traffic, okay? So I, for WordPress, I don't typically do it this way. I actually like to use a plugin. Um, so I'll actually delete this here real quick, and I will show you the plugin that I use. And so let's go down here to Plugins, and we're going to go search for the Google Analytics plugin. Uh, let's go to plugins, add new right here. And let's look for Google analytics. There it is. And you've got all kinds of different plugins here. And really a lot of them are the same. Um, I've typically used Google analytics for WordPress and found it to be very good. And so that's the one that I will recommend to you because I don't have specific experience with the other ones. But you just want to hit install. It's just like installing any plugin. Uh, hit install now. And now this will be installed on your WordPress blog. And we want to activate it as we do with any plugin. And then we're going to have to set it up. So you can see it comes up Google Analytics is not active. You must select which analytics profile to track. So we have to tell it which profile. Okay. So then what you can do is you can. Click here to authenticate with Google, and as long as you're logged in to your Google account and you're in the same browser, it's okay to do it this way. Um, and so we can grant access. And this should work. Sometimes this can be a little bit glitchy, but it typically works. And there we go. So now we can select the correct analytics profile to track. There we are, how to blog lab. That's the profile that we want. And then you want to make sure you can actually have uh, uh, um, different profiles within an account. So we only have one, so that makes it very easy. So we have that. And if you don't want to do it that way, let's say that for some reason that didn't work, you can also manually enter the UA code, okay? And if you're going to do the UA code, I will show you where that is. In this code section right here, it's this part right here, this UA and then the number. You would just want to copy that, and then you would want to paste it right in there if you want to do it that way. There's really no difference. This plugin just gives you a few different options. So it asks you where should the tracking code be placed. You can put it in the header. Actually, they now, I guess, by default put it in the header, which is fine. Okay, so let's update the settings. And that way we have them all in there. And saved. And we're good to go. And then you can actually, you know, it asks you if you want to track the outbound clicks and downloads. I typically do. That way you know what links people are clicking on. Um, and then you can also show the advanced settings. 
And typically, you don't need to do any of these things on here. Um, I you know, really don't mess with that too much. Um, but I do want to track the outbound clicks and downloads. So let's update that. And now your Google Analytics code is in there. Okay, but how do you know for sure? Well, let's go back here. We're still setting this up. So let's save and finish. And that's all we have to do. They just give you uh, that code right there for you to put it in. You're good to go. Now, you'll see right here under status, we have this little warning sign. Okay, that means that the Google Analytics code is not tracking. Okay, so if you get this little code, what you want to do is you want to hit edit. And it says tracking unknown. Well, let's check the status and let's make sure that it's working. So we click on check status. And if you see this, it says waiting for data. That means that it has gone out to the site and it recognizes that the code is there, which is excellent. So we know this is working. If the code wasn't there, then you would still see that little error sign. Okay, so let's go back here to our settings. And as you can see, now there's a different little logo there for status. That means that it's tracking. And now visits to How to Blog Lab will be counted. Now, Google Analytics isn't uh, always real time. I think it's gotten a little bit better than it was in the past. But I mean, if you go there, click and go back and check, it might not register. Um, typically, you know, with Google Analytics, I like to give it at least a few hours of lag time. Um, and I typically don't look at stats. If I want to check stats for a Wednesday, I don't really look at them until Thursday. Like I said, I think it's gotten a little bit more real time, um, but it's not perfect. Okay, so that is it. That's how simple it is to install Google Analytics on your blog. And really, there isn't much of an excuse as far as I'm concerned to not have Google Analytics or some kind of tracking program on your blog, because it gives you so much information that you can use.